Hey, what's up YouTube? It's me, Jose, here with Captain Hook Tree Climbing. Um, this August is my 13th year of climbing and I'm just so uh, blessed and grateful to have come this far in my climbing journey. Um, I'm very happy to be able to bring these YouTube videos to you guys. And here, uh, well, let me just start by saying this. Yesterday, I used the zigzag, or sorry, the Rope Runner, Rope Runner Pro, for the first time in the DRT configuration. Now, in the DRT configuration, there's, uh, it's not perfect, and as any other device or method for DRT isn't all perfect, uh, but I always go back to uh, the basic Blake's hitch, and then from there you go up to the zigzag, in my opinion, uh, and then the zigzag kind of sets the bar pretty high for DRT um, with mechanicals in, in, in the whole spectrum of DRT with mechanicals. You get what I'm saying? So now uh, when you're trying to adapt the Rope Runner Pro, which is a SRT device um, to DRT, it becomes... Uh, a different animal it, it behaves differently um, and for the, you know one of the reasons is because you want to set this friction bollard to a setting that is going to allow you to to do DRT because you have friction now at your at your tie-in point and as well as friction within the device so uh, you know you're not just moving up and down the rope the rope is moving with you so you got all this extra uh, friction to overcome so this this friction bollard may be uh, set to a lower uh, friction setting than you normally have it or where you have it at right now um, and I have mine currently sitting right right around the three or the four there I don't know if you guys can see it there but that is where mine is set right now uh, and that setting for me is really good this is a uh, Kern mantle rope um, really nice static line uh, elongation on it it's around 1.6 somewhere around that area and um, it's a uh, it's a really nice rope for DRT and also for SRT but anyway Yesterday I was climbing DRT for the first time and uh, I'm, I made a video on that so I'll post it uh, up here in the left of the screen and you guys can watch that if you want uh, and I just noticed how whenever I went to try to feed the Rope Runner Pro from the top you know feed rope through the Rope Runner from the top it kind of just slouched over for me just like that it, it it was so annoying because, um, you know, I'm used to the zigzag and, you know, I don't know if you guys are used to using the zigzag or not, but when I feed the zigzag from the top like this, uh, it doesn't normally just slouch over. Uh, and it does slouch over like this, the zigzag, but only when there's very little um, rope weight underneath the device. That's when feeding it from the top is a bit cumbersome but for the rope runner pro i don't doesn't really matter how much rope weight you have underneath this thing just pivots right off your carabiner like this right here and it's connected to up here it pivots right off the carabiner and it slouches and then you have this problem so that is a problem that i've been ruminating on all night and an angel came to me in my sleep and said well this is how you're gonna fix it so uh, you know we'll, we'll get to that but first I want to show you the concept behind why the rope runner uh, pro uh, doesn't isn't able to be fed from the top and we're just gonna go uh, back way back in history whenever this guy was made or thought of so this is basically a double Blake hitch I call this portion of the second Blake's hitch of this system, uh, the floating Blake's hitch. And so you'll see 
that if you're connected here, weighted on the carabiner, right? And then you start pulling, start pulling, this guy starts to move up. And it starts to move up because the body of the hitch, we'll call this the body of the hitch, is connected to the termination end of the rope, the non-working side of the rope. This is the working side and this is the non-working side of the rope. And uh, for the rope, uh, excuse me, for the zigzag, the termination end of the rope is terminated right to the body of the device or the hitch, right? The body of the hitch. Um, and then you're able to do this, right? But whenever you go to feed this guy through the top, there's just too much friction here to be overcome in order for that to be able to happen, uh, for you to feed it through the top. So you have to pull on the bottom in order for you to, to tend slack. You see that? Um, and that can be, uh, that, that's exhausting. I, I went up there hip thrusting already on that thing. That was, that was pretty exhausting. Anyway, now for this device, um, the chain here, which is the hitch, the hitch portion of the device, it folds up real nicely for you, providing very minimal uh, slack there. And you can basically just feed rope right through the top of the zigzag. And um, it doesn't slouch over for you. It's, you know, it kind of just stays right there. So, and also because the termination end is connected to the body of the device here. It also holds it upright, so it keeps it from slouching. So it, it should slouch and it wants to, but this termination right here to the body of the, the device is not allowing it to fold over. You see what I mean? So that's that's like one of the, the genius portions of this and then it's got a integrated swivel and all that this is a great device for drt um and now we have the issue with this one so um last night i was thinking about it and how you would go about uh, doing this thing and how 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 do i fix this problem with an srt device when you're trying to adapt it to um to to drt and on top of that you can't terminate the termination point of your line to um, to the body. You have to, uh, you know, terminate it to your bridge, uh, whatever device you're using on your bridge. I'm currently using um, this uh, this rigging ring, this rigging plate, I should say. It's a rigging plate, uh, just a three paw, and it's pretty wide. I also have a, a smaller one. It's an extra small one from DMM. And it's real tiny. It's a fraction of the size of this thing. It's probably half the size of it. But the holes on it are too close. And so, so the rope starts to interfere with the bird on the rope runner. So I'm not, I'm not gonna show you guys how it interferes uh, with the small rigging plate, but I'll show you with, uh, with this one. So, if this this is pretty much like where it sits you know that this rope can sit right inside of that negative space within the bird there um, whenever you have that extra small rigging plate and with this one it sits a little bit further away um, you know it's kind of like right there right on the outside or so and that's that's pretty good you know it, it gives you that much more space for this whole system to fold up okay so hang on guys hang on here here goes my discovery okay all this ruminating and the 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 fix is actually quite um quite simple and you get 
get yourself this little piece of rope here you know it's just uh well i try to do a double fisherman's but i just did a one fisherman's on one side of the rope and made a little knot there so it catches yeah anyway take this make it english prusik and go around once and go around twice so a two wrap english prusik should do it um and then you get yourself an accessory carabiner nice little small carabiner here and that goes attached to to the connection point there the attachment point behind the device and then this will uh, well when you're up in the tree it works a lot better <laughs> at low heights um, like how you saw how I was able to feed this one up top, you know, how I was able to feed the zigzag, you know, down here at this level. Um, it This doesn't work that way. You have to be up higher. And I was so surprised because I was trying it down here earlier and I'm like, geez, I, I came out here to do a video on this and, and it's just, it's not gonna work out. But then I got up there and I started feeding uh, the rope runner from the top here and it, it just you know it, it worked out it worked out perfectly because I had a, a lot of rope weight underneath me and I'm gonna throw the camera on a branch or something and then you guys can see me just fitting the rope right through the top it's uh it's the fix uh the fix is not perfect the fix is uh you know it works um, if somebody wants to come up with some kind of attachment device to throw on there and make it all, um, you know, extra interesting or whatever, you know, please do. But this is uh, the basis of those kinds of discoveries, those kinds of inventions. Uh, but anyway, guys, I'm going to just uh, stop talking. I'm going to move up the tree a little bit more and set up the camera for you guys to see me feeding rope right through it, okay? All right, so what I'm about to do is I'm gonna go down there to the uh, the first branch, uh, the first union down there, and I'll just uh, climb up and I'll be feeding the, the Rope Runner Pro, uh, you know, I'll be feeding rope right through. It's gonna gobble it up. Uh, you guys know that the Rope Runner Pro has excellent uh, slag tending abilities, and I'm just going to exploit that here with this little setup. Um, and yeah, it's gonna be pretty cool. So here we go. So right here, I'm just uh, I'm just feeding it right here, and it's it's taking up the slack so nicely. I just had a ton of slack. This whole the whole thing was uh, slouched over like that. But um, the fact that I was able to connect the termination point of the line to the body of the device here allowed me to basically uh, just pull it all up real quick and. Uh, it tends it tends as if uh, we were doing SRT here it's uh, quite the setup very nice friction coming down uh, 
and not exactly zigzag kind of feel but it's got its own unique kind of friction to it it's uh, it's pretty nice I like it Right, so here, all the slack, uh, my whole device is it's all below me with a bunch of slack. So I'm going to see now how well uh, the device wants to tend. And uh, <laughs> I don't think it's going to do much. So, uh, yeah, that's kind of the limitation of it. Oh no, but there it goes. There it goes. Yep. Never mind. That, that's pretty good. Yep. So right here, I'm going to feed it, come over, <clears throat> so yeah guys, problem solved, it's uh, such a great, what a great device, yeah this is good. I like that. Here we go. almost just it's pretty much just trying to feed itself right now and uh, wow this is nice and I got a friction saver up there too so this whole thing it just wants to feed slack the whole time um, the zigzag does that but not I don't think not like this one Although the zigzag is still a good device, definitely. I'm not, I'm not bashing any of that, but this is pretty nice. Wow. And then the descents are, wow, they're they're rapid. You could almost feel, you could almost be free falling with this thing. It's uh, it's pretty. You could dial it in. Time to give it another shot. Here we go. So yeah, that uh, that last descent there, I um, I modulated a little bit better. So 
once I got to about the point where I want to start uh, where I want to basically be at I started modulating the the throttle here um, it was it was pretty cool how it tended at that point um, it was really satisfying I mean geez that, that was that was uh, genuinely satisfying to uh, to feel it so I'm gonna do it one more again So right now this thing is just, it was just beginning to feed itself and there it goes. Uh, lightning fast. That was nice. Yep. So, yeah. So yeah, this thing is um, it's quite the uh, quite the thing here. Um, so let me show you guys. Huh. Let me get a nice safe position. Even lanyard myself off, and I'll show you guys how it slack tends uh, when there's tons of like in in the system all right so I'll show you all right almost there All right, so I'm I'm keeping it from trying to tend itself right now, but there it is. See how it's tending itself? Just every movement. And now, there we go. And it's tending beautifully there. Real nice, real crisp. Um, and like I said before, it's just uh, really satisfying. And uh, just earlier, I was just down there for a second, you know, little side note here. But there was a long, just really long water snake in the water out there. That's the creek. So if you guys have been following my channel for any amount of time or watched any of my past videos, uh, normally, uh, they're not work climbs uh, normally doing you know some kind of review or experimenting with some system or systems whatever right um i'm back here in my creek area so yeah that's where i'm at right now and yeah that was a uh, just an extremely long snake uh but back to the the drt system uh yep can never have nothing nice man this thing's all beat up already um, it's been covered in sap I have a video on the tree I did uh, about a month month and a half ago something like that I'll link it up here in the left in the description or in the video sorry and geez this thing was covered in sap from head to toe 
Uh, the pulley here was filthy. Ropes will not go through this device when it's uh, when it's sappy. When it becomes sappy, uh, you'll start to feel more resistance and less consistency in your descents, uh, ascents, all that stuff. You'll you'll start noticing it pretty fast. Well, actually, I take that back. Not in the ascent. Uh, as you guys know, the Rope Runner Pro it it falls apart. Well, not falls apart, but it does this. When it folds down this way, it's basically, there's basically zero friction there. Um, that's what it feels like. There, obviously there is some friction there, but I would, I would go, I would just tell you straight up, it, that, the amount of friction that's in the system when it's closed like that does not matter. Uh, uh, sapped rope, whatever, you want to put on here glue uh, this thing is going to run you know the rope is going to run right through it either way um, but on the descent that's where the sap will will get you anyways uh, this has been a lot of fun and you know I guess we'll, we'll just end it right there so make sure you check out my other videos I have a bunch of work climbing videos videos um, doing srt drt hybrid systems i have some base anchor uh, systems and i have just a bunch of other stuff let me know what you guys want to watch what kind of stuff you're interested in uh when it comes to uh you know just tree related things and i'll try to work something up uh, put some video together for you all right so let me know what all of you think uh tell me in the comments and i'll leave a link in the description or the video up here in the left uh, with that video of my first time climbing drt with the rope running pro don't forget to hit that like button subscribe if you haven't yet and especially if you want to keep seeing content like this um, and also share it with your friends let everyone know about this uh this technique let everyone know about captain hook tree climbing Thanks a lot.